and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video on this video i'm going to show you how to make a beautiful summer short skirt with ruffle on the lower part and front sleeves so this project was inspired by miss trudy this skirt she wore in the video with maya posted for her on her birthday and then i saw it i liked it and i decided to make it i hope you enjoy watching this video and i hope you like it if you do please give it a thumbs up so first of all i'm going to go ahead fold my fabric into two using my hip measurements which i already done and then i marked out my waistline the first thing i'm doing after that is to mark the full length of the skirt for the full length of this skirt i want it to be 19 inches but as you can see here i'm marking 16 inches and then i'm going to go ahead and mark half an inch to join the lower part to the ruffle so 16 inches and i'm going to use two inches for the ruffle and one inch for the band giving us the 19 inches that i want for the length of the skirt so after marking that i connected it so from my waistline to my hip line is eight inches so i'm going to go ahead mark that out i'm also going to connect that into a straight line so now i have the waistline the hip line and the full length of the skirt so on the waistline i'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by four waist measurement is 27 inches divided by four is 6.75 so i marked that on the waistline i added one inch for that allowance and then i'm going to add half an inch for seam allowance all on the waistline so on the hip line i'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by four my hip measurement is 32 inches divided by four i have 8.5 inches so i marked that on the hip line and then i'm going to mark half an inch as well for the seam allowance after doing that, I'm going to connect the hip line straight to the waistline. First, I marked the original line and then I marked the seam allowance. So on the hip line, I'm taking the entire measurement I have there, which is 9 inches, and I'm going to mark it at the full length of the skirt. So I mark the 9 inches like so. And on that point, I'm going to go in by half an inch you can go in by one you can go in by one inch if you want but know that this is an ankara fabric it has zero stretch okay so after marking that i went ahead and connected that to the hip line and i'm just going to smoothen that into the line like so after that i'll just cut out my pattern so this is what i have for the front panel of our skirt so I'm going to fold this into two again and then I'm going to lay it out to cut out the back panel. So I've laid it out on a fresh pattern and then I'm going to add one inch for the zipper allowance because the skirt is going to have zip at the back. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and then I'm going to cut out the cut the back panel into two. So now I have the two pieces for the back panel of the skirt and then one for the front. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out a lining piece exactly the same with these patterns I have here, okay? Exactly the same size. All right, so before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put my two back panels together and then notch the zipper side. This makes it very easy when you're sewing. You just know where to insert your zip. So on the upper part, I notched and I notched on the lower part as well. So now I'll go ahead and cut my lining. All right, so here I have my lining cut out. Like I said, it's going to be exactly the same with the main fabric, okay? So this is the front panel and this is the two pieces for the back panel as well. As you can see, they are exactly the same. So what I did again was to go ahead and cut out the ruffle I'm going to be attaching at the hem of the skirt. So this ruffle you are seeing here is about four inches long. Remember I said I'm going to need them. Um, I'm going to need two inches, okay? So I'll use 1.5 to hem the lower part and half an inch to join the skirt to the ruffle and the width i have 36 inches and it's folded in two that will give me about 76 inches okay so that is what i'm going to use to attach to the lower part of the skirt so i to make the front line of your skirt to sit well on your waist you're going to go ahead and reduce some from the upper part so i'm going to 
go ahead and show you what I mean. So I folded my fabric into two like so and then on the upper part I went down by half an inch. You can go in down by one inch if you want but half an inch is also okay. So I marked half an inch downwards and then I connected to the hem of the uh, pattern and then I cut it out. So that way you are going to have this curved sort of curve in the center of your skirt. So now I'm going to put the lining piece and the Ankara piece together and then I'm going to show you how you are going to mark out your dart. Remember we added one inch for the dart for the skirt. So I folded my fabric into two. From the center piece I'm going to mark four inches inwards like so and I'm going to note that point. So I'm just going to mark it. So for the length of the dart, I want it to be 4 inches as well, so I marked 4 inches downwards. So I'm going to take my stretch ruler and I'm going to connect from the waistline down to the 4 inches I marked like so. And on each side of the line, I'm going to take out half an inch, making 1 inch we collected for the dart. So I'm going to connect this point to the 4 inches line I made like this. And I'm going to go ahead and notch this point so that the same thing can be duplicated on the other side of our skirt, okay? So when I take it to the sewing machine, all I have to do is just grab this and stitch. So I did this to the other two panels for the back. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to make the slit for the front panel of the skirt as well. So first of all, you're going to decide the side of your leg of your tie you want the, the slit to be on. For mine, I want it to be at the left side of my tie. So I folded my fabric into two equal half as well. And then I marked four inches from the center of the fabric like so. After folding it in two, I marked four inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that so you see. I went up again and then I marked four inches again. So for the length of the slit, this totally depends on what you want, but for mine, I decided to make it 4 inches. You know this is a short skirt and you don't want the slit to be too high, but if you actually want it to be high, you can go like 5 inches or 6 inches, but I just did mine 4 inches. So I'm going to open that up and then I'm going to slit it open like so. So this is what I have after slitting it open. So this side is going to be open for the front slit of our skirt. So I did the same to the lining piece of the front pattern, pattern. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch around it like so. And then turn it over. Or you can just sew and then later use your bias tape to close. I mean to turn out the slit part. So this is one part of the back panel. As you can see, I have added my dart to it. So I made the dart for the back panels um, 5 inches long, as you can see here. So I did that for the two sides, attached the dart. So you can see the notching I made for the zipper part. It's very important to do this to yours as well. So these are the two back panels. What I'm going to do now is to put them together, right sides facing like so. And then I'm going to go ahead, take it to the sewing machine and then make a stitch from the lower part, that point where I notched because that's where the zipper is going to sit. I'm going to make a stitch and then I'm going to stop at 7 inches, okay, because that's where I'm going to be attaching my zipper. From the top part, I stop at 7 inches. So this is the front panel. I've turned out the slit and then I also attach the dart as you can see so from the inside this is what i have the dart is four inches long don't forget that and this is what i have for the front panel so what i'm going to do is to place the front and the back panel together you see the back panel i've stitched it together leaving the seven inches i asked you to leave for the zipper so you see it so i'm going to place the two sides right sides facing each other like so the front on the back like this and i'm going to make sure they properly align before i take it to the sewing machine and make a stitch on the two sides with our half an inch seam allowance we added so you can go ahead and pin the zipper part so that you get your accurate measurement you can pin it like so and then 
take it to the sewing machine and close the two sides so i'm going to do that and show you now all right so after stitching the two the front and the back panels together this is what i have for the skirt at this point you can go ahead and try on your skirt to see if it fits perfectly or you need to adjust anything okay so after that what you want to do is to get the part you cut out for the ruffle i have hemmed the lower part and then i close the sides so placing the right sides facing the main skirt i'm going to go ahead and start pleating so i'm going to pleat it like so and then pin it together so at this point you can decide the kind of pleats you want if it is kissing plates whatever kind of pleats you want you can go ahead and do at this point okay but i'm just pleating mine the regular plates facing just one side like so so you can see what i'm doing i pleat and then i pin i'm going to keep doing this So what you want to do is to pin this so that when you take it to your sewing machine, everything is easy for you. And then you see that your pleat is equal on the right side, okay? So you are just going to patiently pin it all around. And after pinning a lot, I mean a few, this is what I have. You see how the pleat is already gathering on, on the right side. So I'm going to keep pleating, pleating to everything as in pleated okay so at this point you want to really really take your time because you don't want to have an even pleat okay you want your pleat to look neat clean and you see the way it looks here everything is equal okay so this is what i have i'm going to go ahead and stitch this all around i'm going to do this off camera stitch it and then i'll come right back and show you what it looks like okay so you see how it looks already so after pleating and stitching i have this what i did was to go ahead and give it a good press you see i've already attached the pleat to the skirt you see how gorgeous it is so what you want to also do for yours is to go ahead and iron it just the way i did mine so you see how beautiful it's looking already. So what I did next was to cut out the waistband. Remember I told you the waistband is going to be one inch long. So here I have three inches because it's open. By the time I fold it into two, I'm going to have 1.5 inches. All right. So you know that the waistband is my waist measurement plus two inches. Okay, my waist measurement is 27 inches. I plus two inches to that, that's 29. So at the end of the day, any excess I have, I will trim it off, okay? So what I'm going to do is to fold the waistband into two like this, two equal parts. And by the time I fold it, I have 1.5, yeah? Then I'm going to use one half an inch to attach this to the main skirt, leaving me with the one inch I want for the waistband, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, stitch this all around the waistline of my skirt. Notice that I'm doing this before attaching the zipper. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and attach the zipper for the skirt, and then I'm going to come right back here and show you the finished look of our beautiful summer skirt with ruffle, okay? So guys, after attaching the waistband and the zipper for our skirt, this is what I have. Like this skirt is very, very beautiful. You don't even know how excited I am for this project. So it's very, very beautiful. So I attached the waistband and the zipper as you can see. So this is the zipper. Let me open it up and show you. Okay. And then for the waistband, I forgot to mention that I made a top stitch. I moved the seam allowance towards the waistband side and then I made a top stitch. You can see it here that the seam allowance is upwards on towards the waistband side. So I made a top stitch in between the waistband and the main skirt. Alright, so I made a top stitch to make it lie nice and flat. So this is the finished look of the skirt, guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up because this helps YouTube to recommend my videos to more people 
you know so give it a thumbs up if you like it thank you so much for watching until i see you in my next video bye